Laser Doppler Velocimetry LDV, also known as Laser Doppler Anemometry LDA, is the technique of using the Doppler shift in a laser beam to measure the velocity in transparent or semi-transparent fluid flows, or the linear or vibratory motion of opaque, reflecting, surfaces. The measurement with LDA is absolute, linear with velocity and requires no pre-calibration. With the development of the helium neon laser HINA at the Bell Telephone Laboratories in 1962, the optics community had available a source of continuous wave electromagnetic radiation highly concentrated at a wavelength of 632.8 nanometers nm, in the red portion of the visible spectrum. It was soon shown fluid flow measurement could be made from the Doppler effect on a HINA beam scattered by very small polystyrene spheres entrained in the fluid. At the research laboratories of Brown Engineering Company, later Teledyne Brown Engineering, this phenomenon was used in developing the first laser Doppler flowmeter using heterodyne signal processing. The instrument was soon called the Laser Doppler Velocimeter LDV, and the technique Laser Doppler Velocimetry, also abbreviated LDV. Another application name is Laser Doppler Anemometry LDA. Early LDV applications ranged from measuring and mapping the exhaust from rocket engines with speeds up to 1000 meters slash s to determining flow in a near-surface blood artery. A variety of similar instruments were developed for solid surface monitoring, with applications ranging from measuring product speeds in production lines of paper and steel mills, to measuring vibration frequency and amplitude of surfaces. In its simplest and most presently used form, LDV crosses two beams of collimated, monochromatic, and coherent laser light in the flow of the fluid being measured. The two beams are usually obtained by splitting a single beam thus ensuring coherence between the two. Lasers with wavelengths in the visible spectrum 390-750 nm are commonly used. These are typically HINA, argon ion, or laser diode, allowing the beam path to be observed. A transmitting optics focuses the beams to intersect at their ways. The focal point of a laser beam, where they interfere and generate a set of straight fringes, as particles, either naturally occurring or induced, and trained in the fluid pass through the fringes, they reflect light that is then collected by a receiving optics and focused on a photodetector, typically an avalanche photodiode. The reflected light fluctuates in intensity, the frequency of which is equivalent to the Doppler shift between the incident and scattered light, and is thus proportional to the component of particle velocity which lies in the plane of two laser beams. If the sensor is aligned to the flow such that the fringes are perpendicular to the flow direction, the electrical signal from the photodetector will then be proportional to the full particle velocity. By combining three devices, for example, HINA, argon ion, and laser diode with different wavelengths, all three flow velocity components can be simultaneously measured. Another form of LDV, particularly used in early device developments, has a completely different approach akin to an interferometer. The sensor also splits the laser beam into two parts. One, the measurement beam, is focused into the flow and the second, the reference beam, passes outside the flow. A receiving optics provides a path that intersects the measurement beam, forming a small volume. Particles passing through this volume will scatter light from the measurement beam with a Doppler shift. A portion of this light is collected by the receiving optics and transferred to the photodetector. The reference beam is also sent to the photodetector where optical heterodyne detection produces an electrical signal proportional to the Doppler shift, by which the particle velocity component perpendicular to the plane of the beams can be determined. Similar arrangements using optical heterodyning are also used in laser Doppler sensors for measuring the linear velocity of solids and for measuring vibrations of surfaces. The latter sensor is usually called a laser Doppler vibrometer, also abbreviated LDV.